What's going on guys, Alex here, and uh, public service announcement for today. Um, obviously, if anyone was paying attention, uh, which I assume at least, I don't know, two people were, I would hope, anyway. Uh, there's no video Friday and there's no video Monday uh, yesterday, which kind of sucks. Uh, I was just having a little bit of problem with my ISP, the internet's being weird, um, so I was having some uploading issues. Anyway, I'm trying to get it resolved as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure I already figured out what the problem is and I just need to go buy things to fix problems, throw money at it, that'll fix the problem, right? So that's what I'm going to go do, and I'm going to go take care of it so I can continue to upload videos as I want on a regular schedule that I would very much enjoy. Um, so yeah, I apologize for the missing videos, and I'm not like completely blowing you guys off. I do have content, plenty of content to put up. Um, and uh, yeah, so sorry about that, guys. I'm working on it. I should have it figured out by the end of today or tomorrow so I should be able to get on the normal um, normal schedule uh, Monday Wednesday Friday by tomorrow Wednesday so um, I'm gonna try and uh, throw up either like I'll put two up tomorrow or maybe I'll throw one up Thursday and throw one up Saturday or something like that uh, a couple of videos just to make up for Monday and Friday um, so other than that that was about it I just want to let you guys know what was going on so you didn't berate me with comments and emails and things if anybody cares yep anyway so um yeah that's about it i guess uh, while i'm here uh kind of walking around in the shop obviously you can see it in the background oh look at all the paintball stuff um got a couple cool things in uh that i will take a look at and do let's look at videos for in the near future hopefully um i don't think i can turn this camera around like mid recording apparently not anyway so let's like look at the wall like oh look at that super cool one of 20 die dm15 that we got from paintball extravaganza this is one of those three colors that they had down there there's only 20 of and they based it on the color schemes on nfl teams i think this was by far the best looking one it's probably one of the best color schemes i've seen die do on uh, a dm in a, a very long time um so this one was based on the atlanta falcons so the other two i think were based on uh, I think the other two were based on Seattle, and I think the other one was, I think it was Denver. You know, it was an orange and blue thing, so that would be Denver. Um, but the orange and blue one was, like, wicked high gloss. It was all gloss. And uh, the Seattle Seahawks one uh, didn't really um, take me away too much. Uh, but this one was wicked hot. And look at that. It's, like, dust white with, like, a really... It's a different dust red than they usually do. It's more like a burnt orange, which is kind of cool. And then, like, that gloss black jewel right there in the center, I think, really brings it all together. Um, coolest thing about that, they didn't raise the price. They're standard $999.95, so $1,000. Um, you know, same as the regular DM15 color, so I think that's pretty cool. They didn't jack up the price on that. Uh, anyway, got some other cool stuff in. Um, got a bunch of these um, one-piece uh, ultralight boomsticks which I think is really cool. They come in 14 and 16 inch. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a dye ultralight barrel uh, that is one piece. The honing and the polishing on the inside is just as nice as dye has always done on the ultralights. And I think this is a really, a really great product. It's not, it's not brand new. It's been out for a little while. I just never had them. But I think it's a really cool product for stuff like auto cockers or like die dams or like defenders where if you go to screw in a two-piece barrel and you go to take it out and it might you might only get the tip and like you have to take half the gun apart to get the back out. Um, that's a good solution for those. Anyway, I'll probably do a let's look out of that pretty soon. Other than that, um, I don't know. Uh, those super cool straps that Exalt did that come with the hardware and everything like that for e-flexes and grills. And, well, ProFlex is I don't know hardware, but they make ProFlex straps, too. Uh, this is some of the stuff they debuted down at Extravaganza. So we got the America one, and I built this America E-Flex. So it's like America all over your face. Just, you know, that's that's it, America. So just kind of deal with it. Other than that, that's about it, guys. I just want to let you know what's going on and apologize for the, uh, the videos on um, Friday and Monday not being there. And I'll try and put up some bonus content this week uh to make up for that but uh yeah hopefully i'll be up and going normally for tomorrow and uh you guys will see a bunch of extra stuff this week and that'll take care of it so uh thanks for watching guys uh sorry about that again and uh have a good one